so hello everybody, I'm Guido Pastore from uh, University of Milano Bicocca, I'm a PhD student and I'm focusing on provenance studies, uh, in particular in uh, large uh, deserts. Now I'm presenting some work about uh, the Sahara Desert that you may imagine has a continuous sand, uh, uh, sand sea distribution, but as you can see from this satellite photo, uh, sand dunes are quite different in color, but also in morphology and also in orientation. Um, our, uh, our work is focusing on uh, 44 samples that are analyzed by bulk petrography, every mineral uh, uh, fraction uh, analysis, and the trial of their con UPB ages with the laser ablation. And they are collected uh, in the whole desert. And uh, the desert uh, is uh, on the saddle of the Tropic of Cancer, on the descending limb uh, of uh, uh, the Hadley cell. So it is extremely arid. It has very low reliefs and uh, uh, sam samples are collected just uh, uh, in uh, sand sea or, uh, over, or nearby um, origins uh, or volcanic uh, fields. The, the hydrological network is really, really uh, poorly developed with uh, some ephemerous uh, um, rivers that were active uh, in, the, in the past. Uh, the geology of Sahara is rather poorly understood and understudied, I think, uh, given that we have low, very, very uh, few outcrops. Uh, on the western side, we have the West African Craton with a major uh, Archean, uh, Archean course uh, divided by, uh, by basin that were de developed during the Paleozoic and uh, uh, some uh, reworking by Pan African event uh, with the formation of uh, Mauritanities. Uh, uh, maritime uh, chain belts. Uh, on, the, on the other side, we have Sahara Metacraton, that is called Metacraton because it's uh, re uh, it is reworked uh, again during Pan African event. It has some, Meso uh, it has some Mesozoic, uh, sorry, Mesozoic uh, basins in Kufra and in Murzuk. In the middle, we have the Tuareg Shield with the, this peculiar north south uh, uh, shear zone, and it is considered uh, uh, to be formed during an escape tectonic event, uh, maybe due to the squeezing by these two uh, other craterns, uh, and it has some stacking of very different uh, terrains. On the, on, the, uh, on the upper part, we have the Atlas that has uh, also a Paracoterozoic course. Uh, and uh, uh, the main uh, uh, outcropping uh, uh, is uh, on Cambro Division sandstone that mantles all these sedimentary basins. And uh, we have some few volcanic in Ephoras uh, on in uh, Hella Rouge near, near our sample here, as we will see. Uh, we were trying, as I said, uh, to understand the provenance of, uh, of this descent, and if we are able, if we were able to, uh, to understand uh, this provenance, this is a work uh, pioneeristic by Wilson, and uh, he tried to understand the sand flow uh, in the Sahara, and he uh, outlined uh, the, the presence of this uh, uh, of this divide from northern Sahara to southern Sahara uh, in the subtropical heights, uh, in the, uh, high pressure zone, and uh, co it's coincident with the presence of this high relief. Uh, and uh, he also individuated the, the presence of these sand flow uh, corridors uh, here in marked with uh, the S. So when we see our results, the petrography results, as we can see, our sample plot uh, in, in this, uh, we, they were so concentrated that, that we have to put in this uh, light blue uh, polygon uh, because it's more than 95% uh, of quartz in the composition. Uh, and uh, this is the, 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 typical, uh, the typical aspect of Sahara sand. So very well-rounded grains uh, with abraded rims uh, that is typical of recycle or polycrystalline quartz. Uh, but uh, we can also see some exception. For example, this is uh, south of uh, Anti-Atlas Mountains. Uh, and we have some very low met metamorph low rank metamorphic uh, sed metasedimentary grains uh, or sedimentary grain associated with K feldspar, or uh, in the Murzuk basin uh, we have bioplast associated with olivine and uh, and pyroxene. Uh, sorry, this, okay, uh, and uh, and uh, also pyroxene. So some some provenance is uh, is visible, but it is very very rare. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, in other cases, we have some gypsum grain, or uh, west uh, to the Air Mountains, we have these peculiar uh, samples uh, with the K feldspar, microclean uh, uh, that uh, rules uh, over plagioclase 
uh, and uh, it is uh, more abundant uh, in, in this case. But uh, as I said, the, the, the majority of our sample is really homogeneous in a highly quartzose composition. If we see zircon uh, uh, mineral, sorry, uh, minerals, we see that uh, we can plot this on, on the biplot. plot The biplot plot uh, observe the dissimilarities between samples, uh, and these rays uh, represent the, uh, the, the, the variability in the components. So as we can see, if the rays point in the same direction, uh, it means that these components uh, behave in the same way in the whole data set. If they, if they plot uh, 90 degrees, it seems that there is no correlation in the variation of, on the data set. If it's, uh, it, if, if it's uh, um, in the opposite direction, the rays, it means they are anti-correlated. So uh, when we have an increase in, uh, in these uh, um, species, uh, it means that uh, we have a decrease in these species. Zircon, Tolman and Rutal in provenance studies are a hint of uh, uh, recycle because they are mechanical and chemical ultra-stable, so they concentrate in uh, a multi-stage uh, recycle history. Uh, whether amphibole and garnet uh, and epidote are, are, uh, are coming from the erosion of origins. Pyrox and olivine are obviously uh, coming from volcanic field. As we can see, uh, the Murzuk uh, sample here, uh, if we see the, uh, for example, the, the, the heavy mineral uh, concentration is more, more concentrated in pyrox and olivine, whether if we consider the bulk composition is more enriched in bioclass. So it's also interesting to understand, to, to see how the, the different that set uh, uh, behave. Um, if we consider also zircon dating, uh, it, was, it was quite uh, interesting to see that all the desert had the same uh, distribution of ages and the same signal. So at the beginning, I was, I was a little bit disappointed for, for this reason. And as we can see, there is uh, this Cambrian to Ethiopian peak that is present, it's dominant all over the desert from the Atlantic coast to the, the western valley of the Nile. Um, and uh, uh, we have some dissimilarities, for example, as we can see, this Stanian peak, the late Mesoproterozoic, uh, is more present in the eastern part of the desert, where there uh, is, seems to be lacking in Morocco, Mauritania, so in the, in the, in the, in the western part of the desert. Uh, the Western Mountain uh, sample that we saw before had this peculiar Paleozoic peak, or we can see younger peak coming from this sample in Burkina Faso that is here, and possibly uh, due to the supply of uh, Niger River uh, that uh, influenced the distribution of uh, ages. Uh, how do we uh, work uh, with uh, this multiple data set with a lot of variables? It's interesting to, uh, to do some multidimensional scaling. So we observe the pairwise dissimilarities that uh, occurs in our data set. And so we can see uh, that for petrography, heavy mineral and zircon, we can see what, uh, what are the dissimilarities in our data set. And we can construct with, from these dissimilarities uh, some hierarchical tree clustering and to obtain a cluster that are uh, more obtained by rigorous uh, rules. And uh, as we can see, there is uh, the same sample are enriched in quartz and zircon, tourmaline and rutal. So these samples are mainly, um, are mainly influenced and mainly produced by multi-stage recycle. This is a confirmation. We have some hint of, uh, of provenance just uh, nearby uh, the, the origins or nearby volcanic fields. And we, as we can see here, enriching phenopyroxene or elytics. And uh, it is also confirmed by the, the trital zircon, the presence of a division from north, uh, uh, north Western Sahara from Southeastern Sahara. Uh, for, uh, for the presence of the, the, that stenium peak, and this may be due to the to the fact that during uh, uh, the, the late stage of a Pan African event, the Gondwana uh, was uh, was divided in, in this position, and so there was a different provenance uh, back then. But if we mix uh, this uh, this uh, statistical tool together, uh, we can obtain, for example, Inskal that uh, analyzes the, the difference between. Uh, uh, our samples from petrography to every mineral. So as we can see, some samples are very dissimilar from every mineral, mineral point of view, but are similar in a framework petrography. And also we confirm this uh, 
rather homogenization of our, of our sample. As we can see uh, from Procrustes analysis, Procrustes was a mythological figure uh, that uh, cut their host uh, for staying in the, in the same, uh, uh, same size bed. So it stretches or cut the, the legs of this host. And uh, um, uh, in the same way, the, the Procrustes analysis uh, stretches and cut the multidimensional scaling of uh, the trital uh, zircon petrography and every mineral together to obtain one single multidimensional scaling. And then, as we can see, provenance signals are blurred out by the dishomogeneity that confirm uh, the, the, the dissimilarity uh, from these two parts of the data from uh, uh, the trital zircon ages point of view. And uh, in this case, statistics only points out to, to, to provenance really close to origins, to volcanic fields. And so provenance and sand flow pattern cannot really be seen in the Sahara because it's rather homogeneous. homogeneous. What is really interesting is that uh, if we compare our data set uh, with uh, um, uh, uh, data set uh, from uh, Cambro Ordovician uh, uh, sandstone that mantle uh, the, all the basin in the, in the Sahara, we obtain very similar uh, composition. So it's, uh, these, uh, these sandstone were already highly quartzose and uh, uh, they have a really similar distribution in, uh, in the age peak. Uh, and this is interesting uh, because also in, uh, for statistics, uh, we can see that our plot uh, is in the middle of, this, uh, of uh, all the data sets. And uh, also if we consider modern samples uh, uh, from the Rubal Kali or the Arabian Peninsula, uh, it is already, it, it is uh, also very, very, very similar. So from a wide range uh, of uh, uh, geographically, but also since uh, uh, 5,000, 500 million years, we have uh, the same composition of this sensor. So this is important to consider that uh, in the provenance of our, of our sample, of our sand dunes in the Sahara, is, uh, is not to be searched uh, in origins or is difficult to search in origins, but it's easier to search uh, in this, uh, this sandstone. So we have to consider a multi-stage uh, recycle history. So uh, the, our sand is recycled since since this age, and there is a strong homogenization uh, in the in the whole deserts. Um, so uh, our concluding remark is that the Sahara is enriched in, in those uh, phases uh, such as quartz and zircon tourmaline and rutal that are um, that are the, the acting role of uh, that are acting the role of uh, recycle that they explain that are explaining in recycle. Uh, so provenance signal is only uh, be can be can be visible nearby uh, nearby uh, origins for volcanic fields, and this is because there is a, a, a poorly uh, transport of uh, of sand and the poorly oriented transport of sand. Uh, so the the parent uh, rock the, the parent uh, uh, signature of our of our sample is is to be searched in this Cambro or Division sandstone, uh, and also it, this is important to consider because in, in provenance studies. Uh, there is usually uh, uh, the, the, the you assumption. Have two minutes, that, Squido. Two okay. minutes. Okay, thank you. Uh, there is the, usually the, the assumption that uh, um, that uh, the trital uh, signature is uh, reflecting the uh, patterns uh, of transport. Whether uh, we have to consider more the recycle and the multi-cyclic history of our sediment uh, that are eroded and then resedimented and then re-eroded and then resedimented. So in this uh, rather uh, different uh, kind of uh, of uh, dune fields, we have the same composition and the same homogenization. This may also be due to the fact that uh, uh, there is a purely developed uh, uh, we have some, some dissimilarity more where we have a, a more developed uh, 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 hydrological, hydrological network, for example, Nile, uh, near Nile River or near uh, the Niger River. So this is interesting and my focuses are now on Kalari, uh, where the network is more developed and I want to understand uh, if uh, there is a, a rather uh, higher transportation of sand and a lesser homogenization uh, in the, a, a better provenance signal. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm open for questions. Excellent, Guido. Um, very interesting presentation. We're waiting for questions. Call from the audience. Um, meanwhile, I, I, I don't know, I'm maybe just outside the scope of, of what you're doing, but 
Um, given that you probably have similar, you know, Cambro or Division or Division rocks on the other side of the Atlantic, do you yeah. think that you'd see similar pattern in early in deposits in uh, South America, for example? Or yeah, we, we saw that the, there was uh, there was some similarity also in, uh, in Parana Basin, and uh, this is quite interesting because it seems that uh, there is this wide range uh, of uh, of the position of, of similar uh, sandstone uh, just after the Pan-African event in a, in a wor really worldwide point of view. So this is interesting and uh, I didn't stress out maybe in this presentation, uh, but uh, in, uh, in my paper that I published, uh, it, it's, it's also considered. So it's, it's in very, very interesting. Yeah, great. Um, somebody else could do, do have some and risen from the audience. No, anyone, anybody else from the staff got a question, just unmute yourself. Um, so what, what is next then in your, uh, in your study plan what do you, or, or study plan in your work? What's, what's the next um, analysis you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna do? Yeah, I would like to, to apply same anal anal analysis on uh, other deserts, I start. I'm starting now with uh, with Kalari. So also, uh, I did recently some zircon dating on Kalari, and uh, as I can see, there is some uh, more diversity in the distribution in uh, in Kalari. Also, because geology is uh, quite uh, different and quite disomogeneous. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to try to do similar analysis on? Because uh, you work basically on modern dunes, right? Are you going to yeah. try to do similar analysis on? old early dunes like i don't know in 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 uh you know the the, the, the cedar uh sandstone and utah or the navajo or wingate or some of these old dune fields basically yeah i actually started uh, as a as a master student on uh, old sediments uh, mm. on sandstone and i'm now on I'm more focus on, on modern sediments but i would like to to go back because it's you can drive uh, you can also uh, uh, you can also arrive to more uh, interesting information also about climate uh, about ancient climate and i think it's it's quite interesting i would like to do a trip to usa maybe in the future well you hear that the cpm it's great we want okay. to go back to utah <laughs> it's great 